Okay. Parti Bangsa Malaysia Pulau Pinang. All right. I'll be frank. I'll try my best to be frank. <laughs> Well, talking about strategy coming into uh, GE15, I think the most uh, most important is that, uh, you know, we are relatively new, but one of the strategy that we are trying to do is actually to work together with the coalition. That's why I think it is very important and we stress this very much. We have tried during the PR Negri Johor, we have tried and tested going alone, going solo, but I think we are facing quite an uphill battle during that election, during that state election. But uh, for this uh, coming general election, I think it is only wise for us to work together with the coalition, especially the stronger ones that have been proven to be one of the best coalition in the country's political scene. Okay. All right. Yeah, um, basically this is not obviously an easy decision to make. We deliberated on the issue for quite some time and we worked together with... Uh, internal and external consultants to actually try to look for the best solution for us and then eventually we ended up with uh, deciding that we are going to go with uh, Barisa National. So I think uh, so far everything is um, as per plan, probably there's a tweak here and there to be able for you know to, to make sure that we will be able to cater with the current political situation but I think before nomination day everything that we plan for will become reality inshallah. Well, I think basically everything happened for a reason. So we do believe that during the moment, at the moment of the time when uh, Sheraton moved, I don't call it a Sheraton move. It is uh, something that needs to be done to make sure that our country is actually moving into the right direction. Obviously, the decision then, the decision then, was when we we are facing with some difficulties in going on with the service to the to the people and to the community. So there must be something or something must be done to deal with the current situation at that time. So there you go, you call it a Sheraton move, we call it saving the country. Well, uh, I do not know about others, but I'm not the kind of leader who will follow blindly any other leaders you know so what happened then was i can tell you this i'm one of the four leaders from party kadilan raya who's been sacked by the party we do not uh, jump we do not move but they sack us they choose to sack us i'm one of the four first one to be sacked by the party uh, namely yb azmin yb hilman yb zureda and myself so i'm standing here being proud of somebody who didn't leave my party but i got sacked from the party well, it is basically a long story. We tried, but then obviously to cut things short, the problem of assimilation between ourselves, between my guys and then whoever it is that is already there in the structure of Basatu, that is actually, we, we try to do that, but it is actually very, very hard for them to accept us into their fold. And then the problem is, I must say, assimilation then we have got to move somewhere because we believe that we can do better. We can do something for the Malaysian political scene. We can do something because we are already somewhere in our previous political party. But then to put us and to stay there, status, uh, just, it's just staying static, it's just not who we are. We are very active, we are on the ground, we are on the move. So when you do not want to make full use of our ability, obviously we think that we must do something. And, and along the time, we feel like... Uh, we are not being appreciated, we are not being fully utilised because we know that we can do more and people do not want us to do more there. We have got to make a move, then we make a move. <laughs> well, obviously, I've been in politics for more, than, uh, for more than 20 years. Even though I look young, I believe I'm still young. But I think, uh, looking at the current situation, our main focus is actually to ensure the survivability of Parti Bangsa Malaysia. Therefore, I think it is proper, only proper for me to, to echo the President's voice, which is to remain with the, uh, with, the, with the current leaders that we have, you know, with the incumbent member of parliament that we have. So as of now, what I can tell you is that we are going to go ahead in this general election and we are going to fill our incumbents. As for myself, I think I will just listen to the decision of the leadership.
Well, obviously everything happened because of that one lady, one strong iron lady called uh, Zureda Kamarudin. She has provided us with leadership, guidance and also she's actually the grandmaster or the grand teacher um, for us, the young ones in the party. So I think that is actually qualifies her instead of a inter international stature and local stature. We know that she's the right person, she's the best person. Not only she's the main initiator of this event, of this uh, political party coming to reality, but I think that is actually, she actually deserves to be called a leader and we are proud to have her as the president of Parti Bangsa Malaysia. Well, I think this is very subjective. It's a subjective question. But then I believe that she has the quality of a prime minister. It is just that she has one extra quality because she's a... She's the leader who really takes care of the young ones and the women. So probably this is an extra, an extra point for her. Well, whoever commands the majority of the parliament, obviously, should be the prime minister. Every political party have their own mission and vision. For us, we believe in our cause. We have the six pillars of our struggle. So we know our direction. We know what we are fighting for. We know who we are fighting for. I believe one way or another, people will realize why we are here. They will know how that we get to, to this point. And one day, is, it is not going to be easy. But I'm going, I'm, I'm going to tell you just one thing, that uh, we are not going to stop promoting our party. We are not going to stop talking about the Party Bangsa Malaysia. And I believe one day we will be able to win the hearts and soul of Malaysia from all corners of Malaysia. Well, it's pretty sensitive, but to me, uh, politics is politics. You can be friends today, you can be enemy the next day. But to me, it's very subjective. We can work with any political party that share the same value. We can work with any political parties that will be able to work with us and want to work with us. But most importantly, they must share the core values of Parti Bangsa Malaysia, that is to put Bangsa Malaysia first. Well, I would not want to be specific because election is near, so I don't want to insult anyone. But when the time comes, you obviously will know who we will be fighting in, especially in Ampang. Thank <laughs> you. Ketenangkan uh, menggantikan uh, parti yang sedia ada yang yang tidak berlaku ni lah. Ya.